What you guys got another video here for you on how to remove Windows 10 bloatware then sysprep that um, operating system ready for deployment across other virtual machines or whatever you want to do with it. So what we're going to do here is take a look at uh, a script that you can use which will basically remove a lot of the applications and stuff like that that you might not need. You can see here this is a fresh install of Windows 10. It's got all the default settings in place. It's got all your privacy settings all set in place and basically all the apps that come pre-installed inside Windows 10. Now if you're deploying this on other machines you might want to uh, remove all this sort of stuff and get it ready for deployment across other virtual machines. You can use the Windows 10 debloater uh, package and it does come with a sysprep uh, script in there which you can use which basically removes a lot of stuff which you're not going to probably use in that build so let's go ahead and download this and we can then implement it on this system and get it all ready so what i'm going to do here is download this into the desktop here and we'll get this downloaded and we can unpack it now once you've done this you will be able to use the sysprep that's built into windows 10 to get everything else that you need here now the script is basically pre-coded for you you don't have to do anything with it but if you do want to add some features in there and also remove some features you can do but you can see it does remove uh, certain built-in apps and also add uh, certain files and it will also uh, delete certain things on the uh, build itself ready for sysprep so there is a many different ways to do sysprep uh, for a system this is for vmware i've got a vmware clean installation of windows 10 and we will be running this sysprep script it will also add in a bunch of uh, registry keys to stop bloatware from uh, returning and also it will disable the live uh, tiles remove the people uh, feature and also a bunch of other stuff inside here so you can read through this at your own leisure and work out whether this is good for you or not there's a bunch of other ways of doing this so if it's not good for you then choose another way of doing it so let's get cracking on with the um, task ahead so I've got the actual uh, Windows 10 debloater uh, script downloaded and I'm going to extract this onto my desktop. Inside this there will be a bunch of scripts which you can use. There is a debloater uh, script inside here and there's also a prep script which is what we're going to use. There's individual scripts which you can run on here as well. There's a bunch of other things on here which you can use which we're not going to get too much into in this video there is a GUI interface for this which I'll show you a little bit later on in the video now you can edit and make changes to this if you wish in notepad or you can open this up in the PowerShell uh, app there so whatever you want to do you can do if you want to just run this you can do but I just wanted to open this up and show you here basically what this is now this video is more for the business side of things or IT uh, side of things so if this video doesn't get much views then I probably won't make these types of videos anymore. I've made a few of them and I'm seeing how they go because I've got quite a few requests for this particular type of content but I'm not so sure it's uh, really for my channel so we'll see how it goes. But basically uh, we'll get this uh, going through in a second I'm just showing you a few features that this actually disables uh, so you understand how this works. So basically what we're going to do now is we're going to deploy this uh, script here. Now I'm going to be using uh, the command prompt even though this is a PowerShell script and uh, I'll run this through there um, and basically um, get this all set up. So let me go ahead and open up command prompt as administrator as you can see here. And what I need to do here now is type in the command PowerShell. This is so it's a PowerShell command and I'm going to do execution policy space bypass and this is so we can run the script now we need to navigate to our script so we're going to do cd space tilde and this will then take us to our user area so next we're going to do cd space dot and then backslash and then we're going to do the path for the actual uh, script so desktop that's where our script is based backslash yours might be different if you've got it in a different location windows 10 then debloater because that's the name of the folder where the script is and then what we need to do here is dash and then master that is the name of the folder on the desktop so we're telling it to go to that location now we can push enter and now we're in that folder now we need to type in the script 
which is going to activate the script and get it running. So this is where we need to type in the script name. So we're going to do dot. Now we need to do dot backslash and give it the name of the script itself, which is called Windows 10. Then that sysprep debloater dot ps1 and then push enter and this will then activate the script and it will start to run now this does take a bit of time so you just got to be patient here but you can see it's starting to do what it needs to do so it's starting to initialize the sysprep script and it will start to remove bloatware apps it will tell you on the screen what it's actually going to do uh, but it will actually start to prepare and remove a lot of stuff and add stuff in that it needs to do so we can then continue with our sysprep image now remember this is just a quick and easy way of creating a vhd or vhdx file so you can use that on other virtual machines so it's just quick and easy to do it this way there's other ways of doing it but this is just one way and you can see this script is doing quite a bit of stuff for us on the back end it will just finish this off and then what we can do is do a couple of other bits and then do the sysprep part after this so we'll just let this script finish off and do what it needs to do and then we'll continue with creating our image for our other virtual machine so what we're going to do here is let this finish off and then we'll do a couple of more tweaks here and then we'll move on to the sysprep part now i did say at the beginning of the video that this uh, debloater does have a script in here which allows you to get a gui interface up and i wanted to just quickly show you that because there is a couple of features in there that you may want to use uh, before you go into the sysprep so let's go ahead and put dot backslash windows 10 debloater then gui and then dot ps1 and then we can push enter and this will open up the gui interface here now you can see here there is a bunch of things you can use in here like disable cortana i'm not going to use that bit because i'm going to do that in the sysprep bit but i do want to um, basically remove uh, the onedrive so let me uninstall onedrive from here and then once we get that done we should be good to go now there is uh, again uh, some other bits and pieces you can use there if you want to but that's all i'm going to be using uh, for uh, the gui interface part so let this uh, just remove one drive it will need to uninstall it and it does take a bit of time so just be patient with that and it will remove all the parts for OneDrive. Now, of course, if you do need OneDrive, then obviously leave that on, but I don't, so I'm just gonna be removing all that. You may see a black screen pop up, that's just Explorer closing down, so it can remove any sort of leftover files, but then the script should uh, restart the Explorer uh, process. So let that go ahead and do its thing, and then we can close this off once it's finished, and then we can uh, move on to the sysprep part. So if you're happy to move on to the next bit, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, close these off and go to the sysprep now sysprep is built into windows this is windows 10 pro so i'm going to go to this pc then the c drive then into windows and system 32 now you could type this into the run box here and get to this location as well but it's inside here we're looking for sysprep so let me just go ahead and try to find this here and there we go it's just there and we can now run sysprep here so we're just going to click on this and run this enter the system out of the box experience and that's what we're going to be running and generate and then reboot the system and this will reboot the system this bit does take a bit of time to prepare the generalized uh, phase for sysprep plugins and all that sort of good stuff just let that run i'll shorten this process up and make it a little bit more quicker for you guys so you don't sit there and wait for this to do its thing so it does take a bit of time so just be warned and once that's done that should then just automatically restart the system and then it will go through its thing here so there we go we're just going to restart now you'll notice that this is a uh, vmware and that's what we're using in this particular case so you can see vmware there and we'll just let windows 10 start up now again i didn't uh, disable cortana or anything like that because i can turn it off during this sysprep part and that's the reason why i didn't uh, remove it using that script again we're just trying to keep this as simple as possible so it's just going to let that get everything ready and then we'll move on to the next stage so once you get to this next bit it's just going to go through basically the basic installation process 
and you can select what you want uh, by doing it this way so you can just wait till this gets to the language part and the region you can see here so you can choose your region I'm going to do United Kingdom and we can move on to the keyboard layout and I'll choose United Kingdom again and click yes I don't need a second keyboard layout so I'm going to skip that part and then let that go through to the next phase so once that's done we should then get the license agreement so just come down and accept the license agreement and then we can move on and that just takes a moment so let that do its thing now you can set this up for personal use or set it up for an organization whatever you're going to do there and again I'm going to go offline account and I don't want to limit limited experience here uh, I don't need any more than that again we can put in a, a username here so what I would put in here is uh, say user but I'll just put um, user I think I've already used user so I might have to do new user there we go so I've got new user to go in here I've got user already so I'll just put new user inside here there we go we'll just make that a capital U and go next and of course what we need to do is put a password I'm not going to bother with that so I'm going to go next and it will just move on to this stage here now this is bit where I'm going to say no and I don't want no assistance so I'm going to say no and that was Gortana I don't want to use any of this stuff so all of this is going to be basically off location off no find my device no and all that sort of stuff I can just basically go through here basic and improve inking and typing no nope. and of course get tailored experiences with diagnostic data I don't need any of that and I don't need the advertising IDs either so turn all that stuff off this will now build the rest of it for us and get it all ready and once this is done we should be at the desktop and hopefully all of our settings should be still in place and we should have a nice system with all the uh, stuff removed from the operating system which is what that script has done and we've now got this ready to deploy on other virtual machines which is uh, pretty easy to do now let me know in the comments section below whether you enjoy this particular type of content because this is more business sort of side or IT sort of administrative sort of side really and uh, if you don't enjoy it then I won't bother making it it's just wasting my time and your time but as you can see here we're at the desktop here and uh, OneDrive is uh, removed and we've got the live tiles removed and a bunch of apps default apps have all been removed and that script has done all that and sys prepped uh, the system ready to go now of course you can be much more uh, in depth in this particular process it depends on what process you choose to do your uh, sys prep this is just one way of doing it using that script and using the method I showed you and uh, you can see it's removed a bunch of stuff from Windows that you are not going to need on a system that's running on a VM so you can see here all the default apps are there and that's pretty much it now of course you could then get these files and um, deploy these onto other virtual machines very simple and easy to do and there they are all there now this is just one way of doing it using the uh, Windows 10 bloater uh, package which has got the sysprep script in it and that's how you could use that to create a sysprep image for other virtual machines anyway that's going to be about it for this video today my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk i shall see you again for another video tomorrow thanks again for watching bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos